but the trouble has been created by man. We have to seek for causes for whatever there exists, which is not contributing to happiness, harmony, welfare, true progress and well-being. We have to seek for these factors in the nature of man, in the manner in which man utilizes whatever God has given to him, both internal within himself, subjective, and external without himself in this objective universe. You can waste a thing, you can put a thing to noble, good use. The Congress, as I see it, has been convened to provide an occasion for people engaged in teaching yoga in different parts of the United States and Canada particularly and different parts of the world in general. That is why it is an international congress. To give them an occasion to get together, compare notes, exchange ideas and thus enrich themselves with the added knowledge so that they may do this work more effectively and in a better way. They will find this therefore a very valuable period to listen to people's ideas and to go back with added wisdom, with reinforced confidence and with a newer vision so that their teaching of yoga would now be filled with a new quality of idealism new quality of uh, spirituality and also a new factor that yoga has a place in the total evolution of mankind in this world and so quite apart from its benefit to the individual who comes and learns yoga from you and to whom you teach yoga, it also has got a much wider significance in the context of world affairs.